broadcasting live from the Dirty South Dome in Atlanta, Georgia, where the living's easy and the sushi is called bait. I thought you said her name was Susie. Yeah, but you're right, she did look a little older. Fifteen at least. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The New York Threats battle. The Atlanta Vultures. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are attuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. And it's first and ten. the quarterback for a sack. Second down in more than QB would like. And that's how you shock the monkey. Clap. Man, what a hit that was. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. Man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is a palm cream. That cross stitching, unbelievable. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, nice hit. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? It's not too fast for you. I'm the greatest, the greatest, I tell you. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> Just some good old downhill running there as he picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my head. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. Oh, what a punch! 
finishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down and ten. and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. One in for the first down. First down and nine. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second down and two. for the touchdown. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. Hey, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. First down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. And he rumbles for nine on that play. Bring up second and one. So much for the bombs way dirty trick on that play. Didn't fool the defense for a second. And that'll bring up third and one. Stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. Nice catch. And he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in the. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. And that's 
the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. play that was bricks kind of like your aunt bertha this guy has some big balls what a hit yeah she does have a big pair grim you're right no he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball what a pick ahead get the ball asshole Second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. Get your motor running. It's chainsaw time. for the extra point. The kick is good. Well, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And he sticks his fingers in the defender's eyes, netting him a pickup of about eight on the play. Second down and two. Called a zap attack. The ball carrier better move his ass out of bounds before he gets fried. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Third and two. And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Roid rage. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Fields. And now they can taste sound but can't remember what the concept of time is. Sounds like you every day. Third down and long. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. This is going to be a long kick. Let's see if he can make it. Well, 
surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. Hey, yeah, uh, Briggs, check the rule book. Is that a penalty? Why would I have the rule book? Oh, for fuck's sake. There's no reason to go. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. You know, getting that first ref is kind of like fishing. Getting the first one seems to take forever, then they come in bunches. They'll probably come home with a stringer full of refs by the end of this game. <laughs> Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe I actually shouldn't discuss this. <laughs> and he's got a chance for a good return here. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And it's first and ten. He runs it for three. Second down and seven. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. The quarterback unleashes a rocket. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he held on to that one for a first down. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. Pow! With the brain scrambler. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. One, hot two. Eight. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Hey. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Oh, nice hit. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole! And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. Nicely done for a first down. Yeah. And it's under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock and he better win. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's going to need all of it for this kick. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. And 
and that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first and ten. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. Second down and two. <laughs> Just follow the bloody footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. And the defense calls a strawberry field's dirty trick. Now this takes me back to those crazy days of my youth, Bricks. <laughs> good times. Married a little Swedish midget lived in a sweat lodge for about a year. Now at least the, I think that's what I did. Second down in a very lot. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog being snagged. Oh, with a punishing hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Four-yard gain. Second down and six. Knocked out like that, Bricks? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Oh, 
seriously, man. You think you go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. It's like my wedding night. There was a big explosion, and then everyone left disappointed. What do you mean, everyone? Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. He is rolling thunder in port, and he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really how have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. He's seven layers of smarmy grim. <laughs> They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. Second down in a mile. And they went to the air and came up big. Third and four. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. Second and three. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Third down, and the punter is warming up. Caught for the first down.
The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Call that about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! If you get one more bullshit penalty, you get one more for free! you also probably lose the game. Just do the attack ref dirty trick. Yep. Second down in a lot, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. Hey, didn't your mother ever tell you don't run with a chainsaw? <laughs> Right. You can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. Point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and two. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. The receiver makes a grab for five yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Ballsy? Stupid, maybe? I guess we'll decide after we see how this goes. But probably stupid. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young.
And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good kind of practice. Second down in a very lot. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Hey, man, nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? And it's first and ten. trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Second down and more than the QB would like. shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They'll be going on site here and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. First and ten. The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. Second down and a lot. calls a second time out. They really need to make a stop here. Third down and the offense needs a miracle. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. And defense calls its final time out. Good. I gotta run to the John. That means I gotta deal with that grubby little bathroom attendant again. Always pushing his life savers, dirty cone, hairspray. 
any cheap cologne on me. Hey, I'm here to take a crap. Not get ready for a date. Well, you never know who you're gonna meet when you're in the shitter. Just saying. And he breaks away, and the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First down and one. toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. The Vultures limp away defeated. Yeah, they look so sad, Grim. I kind of feel sorry for them. They deserve a participation award. Screw those losers. They've got 99 problems, but a win ain't one of them. That's right, Grim. Just like a bridge over troubled water. Like a whole lot of Rosie. The game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now. Yo, man, nobody can touch what I'm on. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.